This is Covering the Spread, part of the FanDuel Podcast Network. When I was researching last week for the NFL's Hall of Fame game, I kind of realized that I don't mind doing research for betting preseason games, which surprised me because I've always been kind of against it because my thought process was I don't have intel or information on who will play and things like that beyond what's reported. So I'm probably not going to have an edge over everyone else in these markets, but it's kind of just fun. I've realized. So we're going to keep at it and uh, talk some more preseason today, breaking down my favorite bets across preseason week one at FanDuel Sportsbook. Two bets for Thursday, two bets for Friday to send you into the weekend on what hopefully should be a fun note. This is Covering the Spread, a FanDuel Research podcast. My name is Jim Sonis. I am a managing editor at FanDuel Research here to break down preseason week one across the NFL and break down my top bets at FanDuel Sportsbook for the upcoming slate of games. We'll dive into all that here in just one second, but first a reminder to make sure you are subscribed to the Covering the Spread podcast feed wherever you get your podcast. More shows coming up next week once again, as well as we ramp up for NFL Week 1, College Football Week 0, just around the corner as well. To get these shows as they are posted, search for Covering the Spread wherever you get your podcasts. Hit subscribe, and if you like what you hear, leave us a five-star rating and review as well. And of course, these shows up on the FanDuel YouTube page and FanDuel TV Plus as well. The dog days are here, and the coolest place to get in on the MLB action is FanDuel, America's number one sports book. because this summer, FanDuel is hooking up all customers with a boost or a bonus daily. That's right. There's something for everyone every day all summer long. You can score bigger winnings in any inning with profit boosts, snag bonus bets for home runs every Tuesday, and even beat the heat with no sweat bets. So head over to FanDuel and start making the most of your summer. FanDuel, official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball, must be 18 plus in D.C. and 21 plus in present and select states. Opt-in required. Wager requirement supply. Bonuses awarded as non withdrawable bonus bets or profit boost tokens. Restrictions apply. Apply, including bonus expiration. See terms and conditions at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit fanduel.com slash RG, Colorado, D.C., Iowa, Kentucky, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Tennessee, Vermont, Virginia, and Wyoming. Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text next step to 53342 in Arizona, 1-888-789-7777, or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut, 1-800-9-WITH-IT in Indiana, 1-800-522-522. 4700 visit chaosgamblinghealth.com in Kansas, 1-877-770-STOP in Louisiana. Visit mdgamblinghealth.org in Maryland, 1-800-GAMBLER.net in West Virginia. Hope is here. Visit gamblinghelplinema.org or call 800-327-5050 for 24-7 support in Massachusetts or call 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope and Y in New York. Let's take a look now at the offerings for this week at FanDuel Sportsbook across all of NFL preseason week number one. Let's begin on Thursday night. We got the Giants taking on the Lions. Neither starting quarterback will play in this game, but I do still think there is value in the over 34 and a half points, which is minus 110 at FanDuel Sportsbook. No, uh, no Jared Goff in this game. No Daniel Jones, no Malik Neighbors. They're all going to sit. But these coaches have tended to play in a lot of chaotic preseason games, and I think we should see some points overall here. It also does help there's depth at quarterback on both sides. The Lions have Nate Sudfeld, preseason stud, Nate, Nate Studfeld back in there. Hendon Hooker should be out there as well, and I think we'd see a lot of Hooker tonight as well. It should be a fun thing to see him in full action. The Giants on the other side, no Daniel Jones, but they'll see Drew Locke and Tommy DeVito. So for a preseason game with no starting quarterbacks, that's actually not too bad in terms of having somewhat NFL talent on both sides at quarterback. Dan Campbell has been the head coach of the Lions for three preseasons. And so nine total games, the median number of points scored in those games is 43. And again, we're at 34 and a half here over minus 110. In week one specifically, it has been 31 points, 50 and 35. So going over this number in two out of three. Similar setup for Brian Dable, two preseasons of, da- preseasons of data for him. The median is 45 and a half total points scored. 
if we look at week one specifically, it's been 44 points and 35. So again, over this number in both those as well. So to me, it's a combination of a couple of things where both these coaches have played in higher scoring preseason games. The quarterback back depth isn't that bad on either side, despite there being no starters. And the number is pretty low at 34 and a half. So on the Thursday slate, my favorite bet for tonight at FanDuel Sportsbook will be the Lions and the Giants over 34 and a half points, which is minus 110 at FanDuel Sportsbook as of right now. Second game on Thursday night is between a couple of new head coaches. That is the Panthers taking on the Patriots. And because these are new head coaches, no data on either side of this game. What we do know is that Bryce Young will not play, nor will Andy Dalton. So that's why you see the Patriots favored by six and a half here, because Gerard Mayo said that if a player is healthy, he's going to play. So six and a half feels a bit large. I'm not going to get there because the quarterback play for the Panthers will be really, really rough. And that's also why I don't want to go towards the game over in this game. But if Andrew Sportsbook, you actually do have like a quasi player prop available. If you go to the game specials featured tab, you can see in there some different yardage thresholds and things like that for both sides, rushing touchdowns, passing touchdowns, receiving yards, things like that. There you'll see the Patriots are plus 145 to get 125 plus rushing yards. And I think that's pretty interesting. The backfield depth of the Patriots is not that bad. We should see a bit of Ramondre Stevenson and, and Antonio Gibson. But then Kevin Harris has shown in the preseason previously, Jermichael Hasty is a guy who, you know, is probably because he's with the 49ers, but like he was earning snaps in, in back in the day in actual NFL games. Those guys are all good enough. And that's that's part of it here. But I also think these quarterbacks should run, not Jacoby Brissett. I don't think we'll see him going, although it is a Brissett, uh, uh, it is Brissett back with his former team once again. But Drake May, very athletic guy in college, willing to run, and he was very good at it too. Uh, kind of has some chaotic Josh Allen energy to him, which is fun. Joe Milton's behind him. Milton is more so known for his cannon of an arm, but he will run a bit too. So quarterbacks are included in this number, which I do find intriguing when we're betting this one, the Patriots should have a lead. Gerard Mayo probably wants to begin his tenure with a, a win. So does Dave Canales, but like we could see him kind of skew towards the run. If they do get a lead to hold the clamps on that lead later on, and they want to be a run heavy team overall. So I think we should see the Patriots be trying to work on the ground game, trying to get that thing figured out before the regular season begins. Plus 145, pretty nice number to get to 125 plus rushing yards. Again, sacks don't count, and that is just rushing yardage. We get benefit from both the quarterbacks and the running backs at that number. So of this game, we don't have a lot of data on how the coaches will behave. I think that the best bet is going to be the Patriots for 125 plus rushing yards. Again, that's available over at FanDuel Sportsbook. Shifting our focus now to the Friday games. First game on Friday is between the Texans and the Steelers. And unique circumstance here where it's the second preseason game for the Texans, first one for the Steelers. And the Texans have said, because they got their, their warm-up game in, they're actually going to roll out their starters for this one. So I want to go with the Texans and Steelers over 37 and a half, which is minus 110 at FanDuel Sportsbook. And the Texans are the primary driver here. Uh, D'Amico Ryan said he feels that, that the starters should get time in the preseason in order to ramp up. So I wouldn't be shocked if we get a full quarter out of the Texans starters in this one. The Chiefs have already said they'll go a full quarter uh, for their Saturday game against the Jags, and that total is a 40 and a half. This one's a 37 and a half. So that's part of it is we'll see the Texans. They can move the football. This should be kind of fun. But also the Steelers are sitting a lot of their key defensive guys. TJ Watt's not going to play. Cam Hayward won't play. No Alex Highsmith. Minka Fitzpatrick. Patrick Queen. All those guys are sitting. So when we get the Texans' def offense against the, the Steelers' defense, they should be able to move the ball. On the opposing side, because we'll need some push from the Steelers too, Justin Fields good to go here. And I would bet we see a decent amount of him because there's no Russell Wilson. Fields trying to prove he can win this job. So when he's out there, I think we'll see pedal to the metal Fields. And that's intriguing to me too. After Stroud leaves, we saw Davis Mills play pretty well last week too. So that's intriguing. The Texans had 30 or 38 total points in that game, even though that game never saw the fourth quarter. In nine preseason games with the new preseason format of just three games, the median total in games that Mike Tomlin has coached is 42. It has been 40, 57, and 44 in preseason week ones with him. So I like the value here. 
I'm going to take the over in this one as well. Again, getting the Texans offense against a depleted Steelers defense in a situation where they should be able to move the ball. Uh, the Steelers offense should it do something, I would guess, as well. That's enough for me to back the over. Uh, 37 and a half minus 110 at FanDuel Sportsbook right now. Final game we're going to discuss. Haven't had time to research the Saturday games yet. Uh, if you want some thoughts on the Saturday preseason games, check out FanDuel.com slash research at FanDuel Research. Austin Swain, my colleague, will have a betting guide up for the Saturday games. If you want those, check out that. But as far as the Thursday and Friday games, the final bet I like is the only under that I'm targeting here for this week. What could possibly go wrong there? That is for the Falcons and the Dolphins. Total is 38 and a half. And I want to go under 38 and a half minus 115 for that one. We will not see Kirk Cousins in this game, nor will we see Tua Tungavailoa. At least hinted we won't see Tua Tungavailoa. They asked Mike McDaniel whether Tua will play, and he said, you know how I played things in the past. And in the past, Tua has not played in preseason week one. So we'll get Michael Penix, which is kind of fun, but you have to remember that Raheem Morris is a recent descendant of the Sean McVay tree. Now I know he was a head coach in the past, but like he was most recently with Sean McVay and McVay famously never plays his guys in the preseason. Back when Raheem Morris was a head coach at Tampa Bay, his games tended to be decently low scoring. Uh, that was more than a decade ago. So I don't want to put a lot of stock in that. It's more so in the players who are playing here. McDaniels had two preseasons with the Dolphins. He's had three games of totals at 31 or fewer points, but he also had three at 47 or higher. So it's been volatile for sure for Mike McDaniel. Last year in week one, the Dolphins lost 19 to three. Again, no Tua in that game. In week two, there were only 31 total points in that one. The defense for the Dolphins is the side of the ball with less continuity. So if they're going to play their starters a bit in order to try to ramp up familiarity. It'd probably be more so on defense than on offense. I also kind of hate the depth of the receivers on both these teams. It's Tyree kill jail and Waddle and then a black hole. I do like Mike Washington a decent, decent amount, but uh, not going to move the needle as far as preseason stuff goes. And then we saw Rondale Moore get banged up uh, for the Falcons yesterday too, which hurts their pass catching depth as well. So in general, I am leaning towards overs this week. But this one is an under where I feel pretty good about it based on what McDaniel has done recently in the preseason, based on the depth at pass catcher from both sides, and based on the fact that we could see um, the Dolphins defense maybe play a bit more than we might expect in order to get that continuity ramped up. So four preseason week one bets I like are the Dolphins and Falcons under 38 and a half minus 115. Looking at the Texans and Steelers over 37 and a half, that is minus 110. We're taking the Patriots to get 125 plus rushing yards plus 145 and the Giants and Lions over 34 and a half, that is minus 110. That's all we have here for preseason week one and breaking down that over at FanDuel Sportsbook. Back with you once again next week. We're going to try to get some futures talk in for the NFL as well. And then I'll try to dig into preseason week two, depending how things go for this week as well. To get those shows as they are posted, make sure you're subscribed to Covering the Spread wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on the FanDuel YouTube page and FanDuel TV+. Plus. If you're watching on the FanDuel YouTube page, leave us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the feed. We appreciate those of you who have done so already. If you have any questions for me, I am on X at Jim Sonis. You can find FanDuel Research on X at FanDuel Research. Want to thank you all for tuning in for today. Good luck to you with your bets across preseason week one. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you once again next week. This has been Covering the Spread, a FanDuel Research podcast. 